Hey, this is Kevin Kitchens with Once Upon a Game, and we are back with a uh, playthrough of Traveler, the customizable card game from Horizon Games. We are about to enter the second turn. Um, if you watch the first part, then you know that we failed in our uh, first mission, didn't have enough cargo to complete the contract, and we were just, uh, we had finished the uh, resolution phase and we were about to start a new round. So we were going into the ready phase. First thing we would do is exert, or uh, refresh all exerted cards. And um, we have no um, exerted cards on our ship, or our crew, or anything. So uh, we would resolve to hand size. So let's check that. So we have two cards. So we're gonna draw one. That's, excuse me, four, five, six, and seven. So we have seven cards. Okay. And this is what we got. Free Trader Network. Zet Uzrake, who we already have in play. So he'll just be money. Um, one thing you can do is you can discard cards uh, at the beginning of, uh, in this phase. You draw down to seven, if you had more for some reason, and then you can discard any unwanted cards, and then you draw up to your hand limit, which is normally seven. So, uh, one thing I did want to mention, there is a site called, I'll put the link, um, uh, in the, uh, in the notes of this video, but it's TravelerDB. Dot com, which has a great reference to the rules and to um, the uh, round order and things like that. So definitely worth checking out. So we got a body pistol, so we got gear, uh, Panacea Auto Ejector, which is a healing, and uh, let's see, yeah, it's a healing tool. Luxury Suite, so this in in improves your uh, victory points. After you resolve a subplot, I think I was calling them sub subcontracts, but they're subplots technically, uh, you gain an extra victory point. Uh, if it's a, uh, if the original contract was a, uh, had a passenger requirement. Okay, so we got that. And then we still have our WAP advisors and our surgical intervention. All right, so we are ready to start our turn. Uh, I'm the first captain, because it's solo, I'm the only captain. Uh, this would also be where you'd restore health, repair, uh, any hull points, um, any damage to your hull. Um, you can move equipment, like if you wanted this gear to go to another uh, uh, character that you had in play, you could move that freely uh, at this time. Uh, and then you would check for victory. We are not in victory, so we are now going to go into the adventure phase. So, uh, first thing we got to do is put out our uh, uh, complications. So, to refresh, this guy here is can only have one. He's got one. He can only have two. He has two. He can only have two, and he has two. One visible, and he can have two. And he has none, so these are both pretty much going to go to there. Well, I tell you, that's not an actually an accurate statement. So we draw one, and in solo we put it with the uh, the one with the most victory points. That is, this is not full, so that's going to be this one anyway. So that's going to go there, and that's the one we're still at this point um, committed to. And then the next one we get to draw. And we can look at it. So I can draw one here. All right. So this one is myriad difficulties. Any three capability and/or skill tokens. Um, I don't know if we're gonna get it enough this go around to uh, to achieve that and be able to achieve that with three cargo. Now I can get to three cargo, but I don't know what's gonna be under here. So. Here's the option. This is mine. I can I can put it wherever I want. And so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add it here. 
So that puts that one over at three, and then I get to discard one of the existing ones. And so I'm going to take this one off and just discard it. So you unfortunately get to, when I discard it, I get to see what it was, but, and it was, uh, let's see, Buccaneer. So I had to defeat an enemy, so that's where I would have needed um, uh, attack and defense, I was mentioning in the other video. So, okay, so he's got two. And this guy's got one. Now it's my decision what I want to do here. And the choice I've got is I can I can stay committed to this one free of charge. Or if for some reason like I knew now that I could just totally blow this one away and get three points. I can move over here, but it's a cost. I have to pay the movement cost again. And then I have to pay, I would have to reveal um, I would reveal the complications. I do believe I would reveal the complications because I would have to pay my three penalty, three money penalty, credit penalty, for abandoning the mission, the contract, plus any penalties that are on here. So if we look at this one that we had here, it had zero additional penalties for breaking. Okay, but some will have more, like these two here have one addition. So if I was on this one and left, I would pay one, two, three to break, to abandon that one. So I am going to stay committed to this contract. And now we move on to the procurement phase. So we chose our activity, procurement phase. All right, this is where I can uh, add new characters and ship equipment, uh, so on and so forth. So let's see what we can do. Okay, these are heroic. These only get played during the action phase, and these these are one shot deals. You 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 have to have a character you can play it on, and when you play it, you do it, discard it. It's out of the game. So take that out. So we got WAP advisors. I do not want to play that yet. So I just want to make sure I need it. That is an event, and I can play it whenever I want. So. The luxury suite here is a uh, upgrade, and we have room for two. Um, these are called internal upgrades. That's what that symbol means. I have a hard time remembering that. And my ship can have two internal upgrades. So that costs one, and that does allow me to gain uh, that extra point, so I'm going to, and I do gain it, uh, you see here, during the resolution phase, and it cost me two to gain an extra point, so, but that could be the difference between uh, winning and losing, so, I'm going to go ahead and equip that to the ship, all right, so that's going to cost me one, and we have that character that we already have in here, and he is worth one credit, so we will go ahead and use him to pay for that card. All right, so now we have this connection card that came up, Free Trader Network. And this is going to allow, allow me to add a basic capability token to the card, but I can only spend from this card to resolve a, con a uh, conflict. I cannot use it to actually resolve the uh, contract itself. But that is good to have, and it comes during the resource phase. So the downside is I have to pick the uh, capability token in advance and know what it's for. So, uh, and it cost me one to do that. So that would be helpful when you have the conflicts already visible. So, okay, no talking. I'm gonna put this into play. Um, with the connections, you can only have one, again, of each uh, subtype. And this has a handshake looking symbol. And that tells me that this is an ally connection subtype. There are three. There's allies, locales, and organizations. However, my ship allows me to have two of each. So I'm going to adjust my tableau here a little bit. So I'm going to play that. It's going to cost me one. And um, I already have the body pistol equipped on one guy. I'm going to hang on to that. I'm going to... Um, 
I am going to use, I'm going to go ahead and use the body pistol to pay. That's one, one point. So we discard that and that has paid that off and body pistol is a gadget type, I do believe. No, body pistol is a weapon. So I'm going to go ahead and pay this just to get it out of my hand. It's really not going to do much good. Um, the trifling keyword, uh, I believe means that it actually doesn't count towards your limit. So, um, he can just have that as a, as a freebie. So it's not really going to do him any good, but it, you know what? I'm, I'm going to hold off because it's not going to do him any good in the game. I'm going to hold it because I might need it for the money. So forget what I said. That's why we're thinking this out together. So, all right. So that is the procurement phase. Now we have the action phase, where we can perform uh, different actions for guys, of our cards. So let's see if we have any that we want to use. And this one only allows them to restore health, so it doesn't do much good. So we have no actions, we're going to skip the action phase. Uh, and now the resource phase, where we collect our, where we collect our tokens. So again, like last time, we have the uh, ship token, or the cargo token, that we're going to get. And we're going to get a uh, cargo slash passenger token. And then he's going to get a uh, expert health token, which is the round one. And then because of the weapon, he also gains a combat token. Combat skill token. But it's only in the learned Hexagonal capacity. All right, so we got those. Now, I have the option here. We are in the resource phase. So in the resource phase, I can add a basic capability token, uh, and I can resolve use it to resolve a mission. So I'm going to take a shot here, and I have to pay one, and I'll have to tap. Oh, someone said tap. I have to exhaust this to uh, do not get my WAP advisor. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the. Panacea Auto Injector because it's less likely to be of use for me. That's going to pay the cost. So that discards and we're going to exhaust this. And I'm going to take a cargo, I mean a passenger. Just in case. Going to take a risk here and see if I get that. Okay. So now all is said and done. We have our resource pool. Turn those over so they're going to play it. And we now reveal all face down conflicts on these pursued. So we have one. And we're going to resolve it here. And it is a last minute revisions. Okay, this isn't too bad. All right. And we are going to draw three cards and discard two cards at random. All right. What I'm going to do here is I'm just going to take one, two, three cards. These are mine. And I'm just going to, I'm just going to pick, basically I'm picking one to keep. So I'm drawing the cards. This is how you can end up with more than seven when you start the turn. So I'm going to take this one and I'm going to discard these two. And what we discarded was Lost and Found, which is a heroic action and negotiated non-aggression. Oh, that was that let you remove from play a target conflict that uh, that involved a combat, and so that was rough. But we ended up with a event glancing shot, which gives me plus two defense until the end of the action, and if I control a, a pilot character, gain three instead. All right, so add that to my my cards. All right, so we revealed all face down uh, conflicts. And so we did that, right? So we drew the three cards and discarded two at random. So that was the cost of resolving this conflict. So it did eat up some of my deck, but I did resolve the conflict. So now we're at the point where we can try to, to achieve this. All right, so we need three cargo containers. So we have one, and we've got one that can be passenger or cargo. So now our WAP advisors are going to come in. So we're going to play this event. 
cost us two to play it. And we'll go ahead and use our surgical intervention card to pay for that. And because of that, we get this and we get to add any one basic capability token to the resource pool. Capabilities are the blue ones that work for, come from your ships. And so we're going to add that cargo token. And we'll discard that because it's been played. And then we're going to pay one, two, three cargo tokens. And we have defeated or completed this contract. Take that out, bring it over here. And that's going to give us four victory points. So we come into our victory point markers and take, these are double-sided as well. So you have a um, uh, ones and threes and fives and tens, so on and so forth. So just add that up here by our ship. So we have three and we have one. We have four on our way to our 20 points. The next thing we do is we immediately will put out a um, new contract, which is going to be Smuggler's Runs for three points. Of course, Cargo and Underworld. And then we put out a face down conflict on there. Probably did that out of order because the next thing we should do here is to complete the subplot if we can. Uh, the subplot requires a, um, a social skill at at least the train level. You can use an expert level to, to be a trained, but unfortunately we do not have that skill, so we cannot complete that. So this still gets discarded. It's out of the game, until we, until we might need to reshuffle. Right, but it's completed. And now we've got, now we would put this one in play. So my bad there. All right, end of the turn. End of turn two. Discard all our tokens, including the ones here on the card. And they go off to the side. And then we are ready to start turn three. So at turn three, the first thing we're gonna do is just refresh our cards. We would do healing, and then we resolve the hand size. Um, I'm gonna hang on to this, just in case I need it, because I know I've got a pilot guy coming up soon. So, keeping one, and then I resolve the hand size, which is seven. Two, three, Four, five, six. Whoa, got a lot of events here. Goodness gracious. Seven. All right. So I have no. This is not good, but it is what it is, right? So turn three. Here we go. Got another WAP advisor, so I can I can fill that up. Um, see what we get. Let's go. All right, adventure phase. So again. We play one here on the one that's not full. So that's gonna go, this one can have two conflicts. So we put that out there immediately. And now once again, I take one and I get to look at it. And it is jump phobia. So I have to have medical or um, psionics skill at the expert level. So I will have medical at the expert level. So, looking at the ones I want to do here, I think that I'm going to go for this one, which is worth three, right? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this one on here and take myriad difficulties out. Yeah, yeah, because I can do that. Let's return, a, return an upgrade to the owner's hand, so we can take care of that pretty easily. Cool. All right. So now the adventure phase, I'm going to commit and I'm going to commit myself to this, this contract and it cost me two. So I will pay for that with, uh, I like that one, that heroic, it's going to have communications. Web advisors, I know I'm going to want again, probably. Um, this one lets me remove a, Conflict that requires the uh, 
survey skill or survey capability. Uh, okay, this one, the time is money, it's three. Uh, and remember, I need I need two because it's two distance, and for each of those, for each one money that I spend, one credit that I spend, I can jump one. So to jump two, I have to spend two. So this is what I used last time, I believe. And this only increases your initiative, so it's pretty useless to me now. Uh, but this is two exactly, and I may need the three for something else. So I'm going to pay that for two. So discard that. We're now committed to that, that contract. And then we're now in, again, the uh, procurement phase. So I have nothing I can procure. So uh, actually, I do. I do have a ship uh, upgrade here that I can use. And it costs zero to play it, so I'll probably just throw that out. And this is a um, this is a hull upgrade, and I do not have one of those yet, so it's for zero. And if I jettison the card, I get plus three defense until the end of the round, so that's good to have. So the jettison means it just comes off the off the tableau. So we're gonna throw that up there for free, and that clears one hand out of or one card out of my hand. It allows me to uh, to draw it more later. Okay, so that's the end of my procurement phase. And now the action phase. I did not... I did not get any actions worthy of playing. So we'll skip that. And the resource phase. Now we collect our tokens again. Looking ahead to what I need, I'm going to need the medical token. I'm going to need a cargo token. I'm going to need a passenger token. Alright, so let's take care of this. How we want to go. So we're going to get a cargo token. We're going to get an either or token. And then we're going to get our medical token. And we're going to get our, for his gun, we're going to get our combat token. And that is all we get. Cool. Can we resolve the subplot? This is what I want to look at here. Let's see what this gives us here. No, we won't be able to resolve that subplot because it's a covert or underworld, and we do not have underworld right now. And I cannot use basic capability for that because uh, it's only good to resolve on uh, conflicts. And let's see. I have that one. No. Lap Advisors is a capability token, not a skill. And to play this, I have to have somebody that has a social skill uh, character, and I didn't have one. And that would have given me the skill. Uh, I could have, well, I, he, he didn't have that skill. I couldn't use it anyway, so it doesn't matter. So, forget about that. What I was thinking of, though, is that I would then have this ability to get an extra point if I could resolve that subplot. But I can't, so don't worry about it. So that is our resource phase. We've collected those. Now we're going to do our resolution phase. Focus there. There we go. All right. So the first thing we do is we can resolve these in any order. So what I'm going to do is we're just going to resolve the medical. And you can pay with either or on this one. So I'm going to pay my medical token that I have right here. And take this one off. And it is, it is resolved. And now this one, to resolve it, I have to return an upgrade that I control to my owner's, to the owner's hand, which of course is me. So I'm going to go ahead and take this ablative armor back, put it back in my hand, and then I'll be able to use it uh, next turn because it didn't cost me any money. So that's good. So that's gone and resolved. And now we're eligible to resolve this. Here. And to do that, I need cargo, passenger. And I've got cargo, and I've got this can be either or, so I've got passenger. So we're going to resolve that. And that gives us, and I cannot resolve any subplot, so that gives us three points. So we'll discard that over to the discard pile, the adventure discard pile, and I will grab another three point token. And we are now at seven. Ta da! Alright, bring our marker back. 
put out a uh, put out a new mission or new contract. And this is going to be refugee resettlement requires a cargo token. If we have medical, oh look, if we have uh, uh, expert medical, we're going to get two extra points. So I like that one. I like that a lot. This will take two complex and we're two victory points. So that's going to be worth four for us, hopefully. So then I add, immediately add a face down uh, complex. All right, discard all our extra tokens. And that is the end of round three. All right, so again, we didn't exert anything this go around, so we're not gonna have to refresh anything. Resolved a hand size. I am at one, two, three, four, six. I didn't use that many cards. So now I gotta look and see if there's anything I wanna discard. So this one I'm gonna go ahead and hang on to. Um, that's maybe, that's maybe, it's hard because you, you see potential advantages for all these cards, but I really need to get some more characters out, giving me a different, some different skill selections. Um, the odds of these coming up, I haven't seen any survey, so I'm going to take a risk and discard that one. Wap advisors I want to hang on to because it's a good save all and I like this one too but I'm gonna have this kind of skill so I'm going to I'm gonna hope that comes back up so I'll get some card cycling here all right so I've got four cards right now so we're gonna go five six and seven Cool. All right, so we ended up getting extrapolated readings back. We got modular hold, which allows me to add a either or cargo passenger token to your resource pool. And we got Siobhan Elamin, who is a human and has underworld ties. So that's good. And uh, allows us, if we want to, during the adventure phase, we can look at an unrevealed uh, complication. So. No conflict. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right. So, that is the end of the ready phase. And we are now going to move to the adventure phase. So, we have this one here is going to have one. This one is going to have two. This one can have two. So, by default, uh, this one's the highest one that still has slots available is the way to look at it. So he gets his second one. Now I draw a complication. And the one I've drawn is down the main. Oh, let's try this. <laughs> uh, so this is the myriad difficulties again, which is any three capability or skills tokens I have to get rid of. So now I get to place this somewhere. So it's really a matter of deciding which one I want to pursue. And I think I'm still going to want to pursue that one because I can do a lot of good and get four points. So I'm just going to throw this here, take this guy off, and put that in the discard pile. And we will reshuffle that when we need to draw another one. Now you can combine and add additional uh, uh, difficulty decks and combine them all if you want to. And like we saw in the... Uh, the um, variant rules you can you get more points if you increase the number of cards in that deck so all right so now we're going to choose our activity and we're going to commit to this one who is three away so hopefully I kept that card that's worth three points I think I discarded it let's see do 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 we want to play her uh, yeah, we're going to pay that one for three times money. So it's three. Discard that. And we are now traveled to there. Excellent. Now, don't forget that you can actually blindly draw from here until you pay enough. 
So that's always an option too. All right, so we chose our activity, we played our conflict cards, and now we are going to the procurement phase. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and procure this whole upgrade again for free. And then I'm going to this modular hold that we have, All right? It's an internal upgrade. We can have two of those and we only have one. So that's gonna cost me two. I wanna get that in play. So let's pull our connection over, put that there and try to figure out. I'm gonna go ahead and risk drawing from here. So oh, paid for it for two in the first batch. And that's probably not something, well, we probably could have used that potentially. If we had our pilot out, uh, we could have resolved that and that would allow us to take any of these, any complication that has the uh, space keyword, which that one does not, but we may come up on one. All right, you can procure as much as you want, as much as you want, you can afford it. So I'm gonna put Siobhan out. And she comes out and she's gonna cost me one. And I'll, I'll take a risk with glancing shot. No, I'm going to throw extrapolated readings out. That's worth one. So that gets that into play and that gets her in there. Okay. So then what I was saying earlier is next turn I could take this gear off and put it on her if I wanted to. If I thought that was a better use of my time. All right. Action phase. Do I have any actions? Because she came out after the adventure phase, so she can't do anything. Uh, nothing I want to do there. No. Still no actions to, to play. Uh, resource phase. Resource collecting. All right. Kind of start to learn what your ship can do. So I'm going to get the cargo. I'm going to get the combo. Uh, that's the wrong combo. Oh, yeah, because he was the other thing. Yeah, they're all double-sided. So like this is the the one we gotten before. And uh, when you flip it, it's got double. So I didn't need that one, I grabbed the wrong one. Uh, okay, and then we're gonna get our medical back. And we're gonna get our combat. And finally from her, we're gonna get our underworld, which we could have used last turn. And she's only trained in underworld, not expert. So we'll bring that in and flip that over to the train side. So that's our resource pool for this turn. Unless I want to pay two. Unless I want to pay two and add a versatile one to the pool. And I think I am going to do that. So I'm going to exhaust that card. I'm going to pay two this way. Got one, got one, who's that? No, oh, that's my die, okay. Um, and so I get to add that token to the pool, just in case I need it. And so that goes there, that goes to the pool. Some, some have them go to the cards, go to the pool, so it's kind of confusing. And during the resource phase, I can do this to add a basic capability token, and I'm gonna use those to resolve uh, conflicts, and I am going to do that as well. It cost me one, and I have to exhaust the card. So I paid for that with one, with another body pistol. Exhaust the card. And I'm going to use a passenger capability on there. Hoping that's what I need. Alright, nothing else for resource phase. So we're done, and we're going to go to resolution. The first thing we're going to do is flip these two cards over. Get my fingers under them. I have a nice black surface to play on, but it did not. It kind of absorbed all the light. I want to make sure it reflected. So, all right, I think we're okay. Yeah, I think we're good here. All right, so I have a defeat an enemy ship. So that's not good. It is a, uh, it has one attack, one defense, and one hull. 
So I have to come up with a way to attack the ship. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this one out first. You can take them out in any order you want. So I'm gonna take the, I'm gonna pay. Well, that's gonna to come to no use because that's fine. All right, so I'm gonna pay one cargo and I will use my straight up cargo. Do a little reversal, so I pay that. This one comes out. And this reason we didn't shuffle yet is because these come out, you don't shuffle till you need one, so that one may come up again. And now we gotta figure out how to defeat the enemy. Okay, so a little quick rules check there. Um, so we have to basically defend uh, an attack. They're gonna attack us uh, with uh, one attack, one defense, and they have one hull. So you add damage, if you get through their defense, you can add damage equal to uh, up to their hull strength and then they're dead, but they get to attack you as well. So looking at our options here, we do have uh, a blade of armor, which we can jettison and give us defense until the end of the round. Uh, we get to decide where the attacker or the defender, uh, so we'll be the attacker and I can pay for this as well and have three, uh, three attack until the end of the round. The other option is um, I could keep this. He would do one damage to me, which I would then pay as uh, money out of my deck. I would have to pay the cost of the hit for every hit it would be one credit. And so it'd be just a way of whittling down my deck. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So this means that it's a reaction and so I can use it in reaction to an attack. So uh, that's why we can activate these now. So, boom, we're going to, we're going to have to pay two to, we're going to, have to exhaust this and pay two. And we have three attack. So I have to pay with two, so we'll just pay it out of this. Oh, there's my pilot too. Uh, one, oops, two. Okay. So, we paid for that, we have two attack, and then we'll go ahead and uh, jettison this. And three defense. All right, so we're gonna attack him with three. His defense is one, it's two hits come through. He is obviously defeated. Then he hits us with one, and our defense is uh, three from the, uh, uh, from the jettison of the armor. So we're covered, um, just defeated. All right, so now we're gonna resolve this one here. And to resolve this, we pay one passenger token. So we use one of our either ors to pay it. Remember, we can't use this because this is only, can only be used on a uh, conflict, complication. But I can resolve the subplot and I have the option of resolving it with uh, the lesser, with uh, trained or expert. And since I do have expert medical skill, I will resolve it with expert medical skill. And that gives us a bonus of two, so we get four total victory points resolving that encounter, or contract. So we'll come over here and we'll grab another four. There's three. And one. All right, and that puts us at 11. Yay. So we're halfway there. Halfway there. So we resolve this. So now we're going to have to put out a new one. The, the deck is depleted, so we're gonna have to shuffle those and, and stick them out. Okay, so we're getting a quick shuffle there. And they're there. So we will put out our, take our marker back we will put out a uh, new contract, which this time is, uh, we have refugee resettlement again. So that's awesome. There's nothing that prevents that from happening. And then we throw the first complication at it, unrevealed. And that is the end of our resolution phase, uh, except for returning all our tokens back to the pool. So we'll do that. And that completes the end of turn four. And 
we will resume the next video with turn five. Please subscribe to the channel if you would. I, I normally really don't like asking for that. If you like what you're watching, I hope to do more games, playthroughs soon. And uh, would definitely love to have you subscribe, tick the uh, alarm button that'll let you know when new videos are posted. Thanks for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye. Oh!